guys just wanted to come here with a little bit of an update on what's going on with my arrow garden um so as you saw at the end of that video um the add water button continued to stay on and flash red so um it was saturday when i was recording that video so i had to wait until monday to be able to contact customer service and i was able to get a hold of customer service via the web the arrow garden website um, on the chat feature they are not available by phone right now so if you are trying to reach out to Aero Garden customer service please note they are not available by phone however people are available um, to do the chat and you will get a live representative in the chat box if you go on their website and I was able to explain what was going on with my Aero Garden um, how I had just set it up and followed the instructions had the water and everything and it turns out that there is some kind of uh issue with the sensor that tells the arrow garden essentially that it has the right amount of water in it um and so that's why it keeps saying add water even though i've literally filled it up almost to the top um because there is a, a little piece in there that you see the top that says fill water fill to here and it's a little thing that's about this long and inside there's a little magnet and um, a pla plastic piece with a magnet and that is supposed to be your water sensor and for whatever reason that is not communicating with the system to tell it that it is full so because of that um non-communication or miscommunication the arrow garden does not realize that i have water in there so um the customer service rep was very nice she walked me through the basic troubleshooting i had already googled because i am that person that if you know if i'm having an issue with any kind of technology i tend to google first to see if i can find like if it's a known issue or if there's some kind of um, solutions out there on discussion boards or even in the uh, frequently asked questions on the company's website um, i did used to do a little bit of tech support work for um at t back when I first came out of college. So I am somewhat familiar and a little bit tech savvy. So I did do a little searching to see if anybody else had had an issue. Um, it does seem to be a quite a common issue with not just my particular model of Aero Garden, but um, other people had different models of the Aero Garden as well. And it had a similar issue. Some people were able to fix it themselves by either some uh, trying like a regular magnet and maybe, I don't know if that sensor, because it is just a little small, um, magnetic boat if it just needed to be activated or maybe had deactivated some people were able to try moving a magnet around um with it because you can take that piece out um so some people were able to take it out and uh maybe magnetize it and that made it work and then other people were not able to do so which in my case unfortunately i was not able to get that piece to work even after the representative and i went through the troubleshooting um solutions that she had to offer so arrow garden is sending me a replacement um floater is what it's called um, a replacement floater and they're also going to send a replacement um set of pods for my arrow garden and i just got an email confirmation today um at the time of this recording today is monday the 22nd um and i spoke with them on when was it i spoke with them it was last week that i spoke with them um and they were able to i want to say it may have been like saturday friday or saturday probably um and so I was able to get in contact with that representative. And so they have mailed out the replacements free of charge to me because it is something that's covered under warranty. So hopefully I will just be able to take that one little piece out and put the new piece in and my arrow garden will um, recognize the fact that it has water and it'll be able to uh, continue to track the water levels as appropriate because that sensor is supposed to tell you one when you have enough water and then two when your water level gets low it's supposed to notify you that you need to add more water to the garden um but the one thing that that i must say is that even though i had already set up my air garden prior to figuring out that there's an actual issue um so my pods were already in the air garden they were already in the water wet um, and I had put the plant food in and everything. So everything was all set up and it was already supposedly functioning. The lights function fine and the water pump that comes with it 
um, functions as it should on the timer is supposed to I think every 25 minutes or so you'll hear it come on for like five minutes and then it goes off again um, so everything else is functioning the, the lights are functioning I was able to program it to say what I'm growing which is salads um, there's an option on there and so I was like well they're gonna send me replacement pods anyway and since these are already planted per se um, might as well see what happens and so I left it um, I left my arrow garden on in terms of the setup and everything that's programmed so even though it's still you know flashing at me to add water um, it's not tracking I don't think <laughs> there's tracking my days and time in terms of how long things have been there growing so what I did was I every two weeks you're supposed to add um, plant food so what I did was I marked the date that I originally planted my pods on my calendar and I set a reminder two weeks from that date so that I will uh, still be able to care for my garden that have already planted now I noticed the other day um, those seeds are supposed to germinate within four to eight days and I was taking a peek at it the other day just out of curiosity and almost all of my um, see all of my pods have little germinated um, the seeds have started to germinate so I can see little leaves little flowers peeking at me now um, well not flowers but little leaves peeking at me um, so the plant the seed is starting to grow so I do know that the rest of the arrow garden system is working as it should um, and so really right now it's just a matter of the fact that I have to manually kind of keep track of everything and hopefully when the new piece gets here um, I can just pop it out and pop it back in and it might pick up with the track of the days I don't know because like I said the lights are functioning they're coming on and off on the timer that they should be um, based on the type of pods that I have in there the fact that it's salads because you can choose between like veggies herbs you know salad whatever you're growing flowers and so it is functioning accordingly in every way except for the water sensor so hopefully it will um pick up when i switch them out and it's been counting my days but if not i can just keep tracking it on my calendar if things start to grow so i'm still looking forward it's kind of like an experiment in itself just to see how well these things do in semi uh appropriate conditions because i did follow the instructions for everything else it's just the fact that the um the water sensor is just not registering that it has water in it so um there really shouldn't be too much wrong with it so we'll see how it goes right now i'm on the way to having some nice uh, variety of salad or lettuce growing in my arrow garden so i just want to give you that update and once i do get the piece and if everything works out i will definitely do another video that's showing the growth progress but i will go ahead and give you a peek at what i have going on right now just to close out the video and let you see exactly how the arrow garden kind of functions and see what it looks like once things start to grow all right guys as promised here is my arrow garden and what's currently happening just a quick peek um there's only a couple of them that don't have anything happening right now which is the deer tongue is one of them and everything else let's see red sails has some growth it's kind of hard to see um and you can see a little bit of green right there that's a leaf and if i was looking at it from a different angle you could see more of it um this other one actually has probably the most growth but it's also very foggy right now so you can't see let's see and maybe turn where the moisture has built up there we go. You can see that growth. And you can probably see a little peak here, the Marvel Four Seasons. See that green sprout? And then we have, um, what is that? Paris Island sprouting out. And then I don't think there's much happening here with the black seed, black seeded Samson, Simpson has not started sprouting yet um the germination period was four to eight days so it hasn't quite been that long but these others have started sprouting probably within like probably in the four closer to the four day mark um because i planted these on thursday the 18th and, and really it was the wee hours of friday morning um but now it is Tuesday the 23rd and you see where we're at so most of them are pretty quick 
So I just want to give you a quick view of what's currently happening. As you can see, the red light is still blinking at water, but there is water in there. And um, my issue has been resolved for now. Aero Garden shipped out a replacement piece for the water sensor. And we're going to see if that works. And they also sent me replacement pods, um, which will be a replacement of all of those pods. But I figured since they're already in there, let's see what happens. Um, so if it doesn't work, I got replacements. If it does, great. Double the fun. Um, so just want to show you an update and I'll be continuing to show updates as things start to grow and develop and hopefully the um, replacement part that they send will fix the problem and we'll be good to go from there. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and again make sure you like, follow, subscribe so you can see more of my arrow garden journey and my gardening journey in general. All of my social media handles are down below along with the link to my blog.